Joe. Good morning. This is our first uh, really chilly morning. I mean, it's not ridiculous, but it's in the high 40s. We pulled cards last night, <coughs> and we've got bucks cruising around in daylight. We've been hunting this one stand pretty hard, and I hope we can get away with it in the early season. We've got bucks still running together, so uh, I just like our chances the best up here at this spot that we've been hunting. We're going to go back in this morning. It's shown a lot of morning activity. Fresh tracks walking in here. I mean, I just, I bet I just grazed him. Gosh. Oh my gosh. We're at the tail end of a long tracking job. I shot this buck last night right at the end of shooting light. Um, just like with cocaine last year, I mean, 
Scott and I tracked uh, by ourselves last night for uh, two or three hours and found really good blood that finally ended. I thought at that point, if we can just get a dog out here, he'll be dead somewhere really close. So we came out today um, with a friend and, uh, and his dog, Millie, and uh, just searched all over the place. I got on my four-wheeler, they got in the, the Jeep, they looked all over the place. If this deer died, it didn't die on my property. We're gonna keep a positive attitude one day, Scott and I are going to recover a buck together. This is the third uh, encounter uh, where I've gotten a shot at a buck. And Scott's done everything right. Um, you know, for one reason or the other, it just, it just didn't work out with the shot. beautiful up here. We're way up high on the very top of the ridge. We can look over to the bottom to where we've been hunting, um, probably like a half a mile away. So uh, it's a pretty cool view up here and uh, man, it's just pretty. It's nice to, to be out. This is one of those spots where regardless of what happens, it's just you're not going to have a bad day up here. had a little seven point come in to some rattling and some light grunting from our new call at Dotson Game Calls. And he, I put a good shot on him. It may have been a little high, but I mean, right in that front shoulder, right where it needs to be. It's going to be heartbreaking if we don't find him, but I guess that's part of the learning curve to bow hunting is you know, not every shot's gonna be the perfect shot. They're not gonna drop in their tracks. Um, you know, it's a challenge. It really is a challenge.
I'm just so anxious to shoot another deer. Shot my buck up here last week and we just never found him and had this doe come out and I just itchy trigger finger. I aimed at a spot and just shot right over her back, just completely missed her. It's bad shot all around. We've been using this upwind. We just keep this field spray bottle in our pack, small enough that we can keep it in our pocket. And you can see Scott's arrow right over here. That doe was dead downwind on us. Blowing straight at her. So 2016 deer season, we ended up acquiring a couple new properties to hunt. You know, our tried and true places that we've had the last three or four years, and then a, a couple more new ones that we'd never been on before. And What's up? We're out at Big Jim's. We're doing something we've never done before, and that's we're gonna plant a food plot for the upcoming 2016 season. And we're gonna have us a little honey hole. It's super thick down in here, big cedars. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be something we've never been able to hunt over before, so. Smokey. Killing a deer on October 13th. Northwest Arkansas, I'm at the bend right now. Just check the camera. And both of the shooters were here this morning. And one was here two hours ago at 2.30 in the afternoon. And they were here last night as well. So I put a little food out for them Tuesday. Try to up the odds a little. I've sat here three times on three good evenings and they haven't been coming in, so try to get one of these deer killed before muscle odor season starts this weekend. But I got a perfect win. 
And from here, I can tell they are blood red. Whew. Dang, I almost debated it not coming because I was getting such a late start out here. He didn't go far. I heard him crashing around just right across the fence. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is awesome. Awesome, awesome. That's not big 160 like the last buck I killed in here, but... That's a for sure nice one for, you know, he's a three and a half year old, but you know, I'm, that's fine with me at this place. I'm totally fine, so. Oh, I'm gonna holler at Ben, have him come out here, help me get him. So, we'll see y'all in a little bit. That's a fine deer for Northwest Arkansas with a bow. For where we are, we always have a few good ones in here. 